Okay, so uh, some of you have been asking about the uh, actual creating your curtains and how to link them together so that you can have like a rod that's going to animate the actual uh, curtains uh, do the animation. So over here what we're going to be doing is just that I'm going to show you again uh, how to do that. Very simple and then I'll show you also that I did some modification onto my set. So if we look onto the screen, as you can see my actual wall, I increased it uh, way taller and uh, let's see like in my actual door I made it like 212 by uh, 96 and then 19 so which will be way better or for my in my animation. So over here what we're going to be doing is just that I'm going to show you how to create the curtains really quickly. So first of all I'm going to freeze this, well actually I'm not going to freeze it, I'm going to use my layers and I'm going to go see the backstage, I'm going to say well I want to hide this not high, but I was going to freeze it, okay? And after that, I'm going to go in here and start to create my curtains. So I use a plane, and very simply, I'm just going to go to the front view and just click onto the top and just drag it out to the side of the actual stage, all the way to the bottom, close to the bottom, okay? Doesn't need to be touching. And then when I'm set up with that, I'm going to right click just to get out of the creation mode. Then what I'm going to be doing is just that, okay, uh, the width has to be 300 because I did increase my width to be 600. Uh, the length is 267. Uh, that's pretty good for me for now, okay? Uh, in here, what I'm going to be doing is just that you can see the details. And as I mentioned, like before, it says the width, I will make it to 20. So press enter. And then when you're done that, you can actually just right click on it and just convert that to enable, po enable poly. Or, you can go, oops, my computer's in to freeze. I will go over here and just say, well, use the modifier panel and go to edit poly. When I got the edit poly, when I say activate the subcategory, these are the subcategory guys. And then this is where I say to you, like if you get a yellow, don't leave until you take out the yellow. So you can press onto the little plus sign to see the vertex, to activate the vertex in here. You can also do it from this quick link over here, which is this one, okay? So if you want to activate them, press on it. If you want to deactivate, just press again. Or you can press on number one onto your keyboard and it will activate them. So over here, I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna go in here and I'm just gonna select every second row of actual vertices. And I'm gonna make that really quick. Oops, I hate this way. Okay, so I'm gonna go in here instead. I'm just because the actual gizmo is not going to be in my way. So really quick, and I'm just making some rubber band selection that we call. Okay, so now I got all of these selected. What I'm going to do is I'm going to push them backwards because usually the middle part of the curtains, when it's going to be opening, it should be facing or going towards the actual backstage. So now that I got this uh, done, as, as you recall, I'm going to get it out. And remember when I said to the classroom, be careful when you use the subnerve. Okay, so if you go to the bottom, let me see just a minute. Okay, wow, this is the first time that ever happened to me. It's just that if you go and create a plane, and then you do the edit poly, and then for a particular reason, you do not get, and you'll see on the screen right now, I'm gonna show you, which is the first time, is the, actually, you need to have the subdivision surface. If that doesn't show up, the way that I solved it is just simply just delete it, and redo it, recreate it, and then, then we have the sub nerve. So what I was saying before is just that, now that I'm gonna go back and just select all my vertices, okay? So that won't be taking too long. I'm gonna see if the vertices is on. And I'll do it back again, like going like this. So make it really quick. Okay, so now I've pulled them up back. And when you have it pulled back, just click out to be out of the subcategory uh, modifier. Then when you go to the subdivision, like probably you will have this kind of window. Usually that's how the students work. So you go to the subdivision surface and remember, if it's not on there, if it's not showing up, recreate your plan and it should show up. If you activate this, be careful 
make sure that when you're looking at this, you look at the top view in this case, and usually you only need about two iteration. You do not increase this past three. If you need more than that, uh, there's something wrong. So please don't pass that uh, iteration. Okay, so now that you get your curtains done, now what we're going to be doing is just that, okay, let's create the rod. So really quickly, I'm going to go to the left view, and I'm going to zoom into that one, make it bigger. You can actually see it, create an actual, uh, in this case, you can create a box or a cylinder. I'm going to create a cylinder, and just put it like around this height over here, and just click. And it doesn't matter the size, as long as it's going to be uh, the width of the actual uh, stage. Okay, same size as your curtain. So you go in here, I'm going to go to the modify panel, I know for a, for, for a fact that this has to be 300, press enter, and then I got it. So now that I got my rod, and as I mentioned before, some of you were asking about creating the actual link to the other, okay? So what you do is that this is, will be the parent we call, and this will be the child. So I'm going to select the curtains in this case, go up here, which is the select and link, click onto that, I will actually click onto the curtain again and just drag while I'm still holding on to the left click to the rod and just let it go. Now I got it selected. So I'm going to right click just to get out of the actual selection. First thing is to also, I'm going to use the move tool, check where the gizmos are. So in this case, the gizmos on the actual right hand side, perfect. This one is not, so I'm going to change that right away. Go to the RR key, if I pivot only, and then you can just like make it to be um, into the x-axis instead of 159 I will make it to uh, 300 if I'm not mistaken yeah there you go perfectly don't forget don't forget to take that out so unactivate it and now you got it so now let's do the test and always use testing okay so if I scroll and zoom that in perfectly my curtain is closing and opening so um, this is how you uh, create your link and this is how you create the curtains, the rod, and use the rod to do the animation. And you just have to copy this, uh, how to make the actual other side. You just select the rod and the curtains, hold on to shift, use the move tool, and just make a copy of it. Do not make an instance on the references, okay? That'll be it.